I'm Gina Perks and I'm an iQuilt instructor. Today I want to share with you a really cool tip on how to use a ruler to create straight lines on a domestic machine. So this is all going to be a free motion technique. What I've got here is I've got a thicker foot attached to my machine. So this is an echo quilting foot and it's got a little bit of a lip on it which is going to allow me to get that ruler right in there so that it doesn't slip and hop up in danger of, of the needle hitting it. I've also got a nice flat base underneath and that's going to help me to be able to guide the ruler. And I've got feed dogs down. This is the ruler that I'm going to be using. It's a long arm quilting ruler typically, so it's got a thick edge and what that's going to do is just rest right up against my foot. I want to go ahead and look at the line here so that I can see that it's nice and parallel to the line that I've marked. This is a temporary marked grid. You can use any type of grid that you prefer and any type of method. So if you like to use a ruler and a temporary marking implement, you can do that. I used a stencil and a chalk pounce pad. So you can see that as I'm stitching along here, the foot is just resting up against the edge of the ruler and I'm able to change and rotate the direction that I'm stitching without having to stop and actually rotate my entire quilt, which can be a little bit fatiguing. So I'm just simply using that ruler as a guide for my hopping foot. So let's check out the finished product. This is the design quilted out for you. So you can see just random directional shifts using the ruler with the domestic machine. Alongside it, we have a cross hatching grid that was stitched out with a the ruler. Then I lost the ruler and went ahead and did some free motion work. So uh, my iQuilt class combines both free motion quilting and ruler work. So if you like this tip and for much more, you can check out my class on iQuilt.